Hi everyone, just doing a quick video on spark plugs and what these letters and numbers mean when you buy your spark plug. So I've got myself a brand new NGK uh, spark plug here. I'm just going to go through the letters and the numbers and let you know what they mean. So on this particular one, what I do have is B, C, P, R, 6, E, Y. Okay, so we're going to take them in turn as to what these all mean. So, B, the first uh, letter on there, is the thread diameter. Obviously, we get different size of that in this particular instance. 40 millimetres thread diameter. The C is to do with the construction. And in this case, the construction... Uh, is to do with the size of the hex bolt here. So this hex bolt here is designed to be removed uh, with a hex size of 5 eighths of an inch. The next one, P and R, are to do with the uh, the way that the spark plug operates. So PR, the PR, the P section stands for projected insulator type. And the R stands for resistor, so that's how it works. So the ceramics here is obviously the resistor. That should never be cracked, otherwise you may get a miss. Um, but yeah, the R stands for resistor. Okay, six is the next one. So that's to do with the heat range of the uh, of the spark plug itself. So different spark plugs are designed to do, uh, work in different operating temperatures and different operating ranges. So um, this can be anything from two to 10. So this is midway through the range. Uh, so this is a six. So it's designed to deal with average em engine temperatures. Uh, obviously the hotter the cylinder is going to get, the higher that number would be on the spark plug that's designed to go uh, in that particular engine. E is your thread reach. And that's 19 millimeters. So that's the depth here. So how long that thread goes for. Some will be shorter. Uh, and obviously some will be longer than that. So the thread reach is important to make sure you get the right one for the engine to make sure it seals up the cylinder properly. In this particular case, E does represent 19 millimetres when dealing with NGK. And then Y is the firing of that uh, spark plug. So the firing is how, it's, uh, how it lets the spark fire. So this particular one, if we can get the camera close enough, it's got a grooved electrode. So in the middle of that uh, bottom bit there, Hopefully you can see a groove there. And that is all that is indicating is that it's a grooved electrode. So Y for NG, NGK is to signify that it is a grooved single electrode. Obviously there'll be different types, there's multi ones. This is just a single uh, electrode on this particular spark plug. The one other piece of information you get on there in this particular one is 11. So 11, in this case, is to do with the gap size. So if I cross-reference this with the NGK website, it shows me at 0 .00, sorry, 0 0.044 of an inch, which to me is 1.1 millimetres. So that's actually telling me the gap that I need between the uh, electrode and the uh, spark plug tip, just to make sure it fires across for the right amount of time. If that's too narrow, then it will fire across fine, but it won't be firing for long enough. Uh, and it may not burn all the fuel air mixture, so you get, may, may get rough running. You could even get a misfire if it's not firing for long enough because it don't, doesn't have time to burn all the fuel air mixture. If that gap's too wide, then the spark, even those 18,000-ish volts, so 15 to 20,000 coming down here potentially, if the gap's too wide, it can't arc across. If it can't arc across, then you're going to get a misfire, obviously, because it is not burning the fuel air mixture in the cylinder. So it is very important to make sure you gap these properly with a feeler gauge. I'll do that in a different video. Uh, but yeah, so... Hopefully that makes sense in terms of the information that you get on a spark plug. It's always important to make sure that you get the same four spark plugs or four cylinders if you've got a four cylinder engine. Uh, otherwise, the resistance in spark plugs can be different. The way that they fire may be different and therefore you may get, again, rough idle. So try and make sure you've got matching spark plugs. So if you did have three of this type, then you'd know where to go and what to get and what code to put in to make sure you have an engine that runs smoothly on all four cylinders. Hope that makes sense. See you next time.